Hey, hi there. Uh, so this is Subbu. Uh, welcome to SQL Server L1 DBA uh, task video series. So as part of today, we are going to discuss uh, more about uh, so SQL error log understanding the what is SQL error log, how to optimize the SQL error log, how to recycle the SQL error log, and how many ways we can see the SQL error log so that uh, so as a database administrator mainly uh, uh, if sql service is not starting or always on is not healthy or uh, database went down so uh, so most of the time we need to predict the logs from the sql server error so it can be it can be system generated it can be database generated it can be sql related more information we can get it from the sql error logs so before we go into this uh, demo part so we already uh, started the video series and i i we been uh, completed the uh, tools internal tools uh, part one part two along with we we already started the maintenance plan part one uh, where native maintenance plan uh, feel free to go here and watch the uh, l1d related uh, task okay so instead of waste our time let's jump into our uh, demo part so basically sql server error log contains the user defined events and the contains the system events you can use for troubleshoot so basically it contains the user defined events like uh, logins logouts okay so login fail uh, lots of events like backup successful like log shipping mirroring always on so lots of information will be available in the sql error log and also it contains the system related uh, logs for further troubleshoot in case if sql server is been not starting so before we go into the uh, go and read the sql error log let's see how many ways we can find the sql error log location so location where currently our sql server error log location is one of the best place one of the simplest uh, way is so when you when you uh, open the uh, sql server configuration manager uh, double click on the sql services go to the startup parameters so here we have the iphone e is nothing but error so this is the location where our sql error log is hosted so currently where our sql uh, error log is placed okay so you can copy this location go to the run command and paste paste whatever you copied and just can you open where you can find the complete sql error log location so where we can have the multiple current error log and the archive error logs along with we also contain lots of other information apart from the year also we will get the sequence error log information agent error log information as well not only sql server error log agent error log information as well so this is the best way where you can find the sql error log location without connecting the sql server management studio and uh, opening the sql server error log you can open the configuration manager and double click on sql services go to the startup parameters where you can find iphone e is nothing but sql error log location so if you wanted to change the location you can go and change the error log location by uh, changing the location directly here and update and just restart the sql services okay one more once you connect to the sql server management studio we can use the server property where we can find the sql error log location using the server property as well when we run this command you will find where our sql error log is hosted from the sql server management studio as well so these are the two simplest mechanism where you can find the sql error log where currently it is hosted so when we when we start okay so we got the sql error log location from from uh, so configuration manager from sql server sql server management studio now we want to explore lot how to read the sql error log how to read the agent logs so sql server agent logs how to read the sql server error logs so to read the sql server error log the sim a different approach where we can follow one approach is you can directly connect uh, connect to the instance expand the management expand sql error log where you can see a lot of uh, logs like current log and the archive logs so currently there are seven logs along with current log that is available so if you right click here and click on view sql server log you can read the sql error log completely from the graphical user interface and you want to refresh you can refresh and you wanted to use the filter command so for example i wanted to use a filter for failed 
so you can use the field and apply the filter and then click on okay you will see all the field related information and you wanted to see uh, lock shipping related information you can you can search for shipping and apply the filter you can find the lock shipping related information and you wanted to filter with memory related so you you can you can use this filter command so instead of avoiding uh, so entire error log reading you can easily read by by filtering uh, filtering and apply the filter so that you can get uh, whatever you are expecting whatever you want from the sql error log is the, is the one of the best way where you can read the sql error log so this is the one mechanism and also you can you can use the rko logs if you wanted to read rk2 you wanted to read and you wanted to read the sequels of our agent log you can go and read the sequels of our agent logs so complete information we can get it from the from 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 the graphical user interface this is the this is the one location where we can get so right click on here and if you wanted to read from the command prompt so xp underscore read error log so when you when you when you click on xp underscore read error log you will get the complete information uh, from the command prompt as well so so where you can use the format to uh, text format if you wanted to read in the text format if you wanted to read in the grid format so if you want to read in the xml format so we can change the format and you can run xp underscore read error log where you can get a complete information about the sql error log so the major difference you will notice whenever you are running from graphical user interface and you are running from the command prompt is so when you run from command prompt you will see the value from top to bottom means when you would sql services see, you will, here you will see a lot of information so sql server uh, version edition windows related information okay so sql which which sql is listening and what is the database sequence starting okay you will see lots and lots of information about the sql related so you will see from top to bottom whenever you are reading from command prompt so when you are reading the same log from the graphical user interface you will see from bottom to top so in a reverse direction you can read from graphical user interface top or bottom to top okay so you, here you can read from the top to bottom so here you will see uh, old data when your sql services started from there you can see the logs to the if you want to read the current logs you need to go to the bottom but when you are reading from the data from the same graphical user interface current data will be available from top and you need to read the bottom to see the uh, sql related stuff information and whenever we we, we reading the data from the uh, uh, command prompt there are a lot of uh, parameter where we can pass like uh, so a couple of parameters uh, so here we can pass the value zero that indicates whether we need to read the current log file or we need to read the archive log file so here we can change the value up to how many rk files you wanted to or available under which rk file you wanted to read or you wanted to read the current log file you need to mention the zero so this is the first parameter which log file which which file you wanted to read uh, next is very very important parameter that is you wanted to read the sql error log or you wanted to read the sql server agent log so if you wanted to read the sql error log you need to mention parameter as a one if you wanted to read the sql server agent log then you need to pass the parameter to two so these are the two important parameters either you wanted to read the current log or archive log is the first parameter and you wanted to read the sql error log on our agent log is the second parameter and you can pass the lot of connection string and you can also pass the start time end time and the string you wanted to pass and also you can mention the order by whether i need to display in the ascending order or i need to display in the descending order based on the time okay so you can pass it in the in the sql error log in the in the order so couple of example i made it here sp underscore read error log zero means so current log one means sql error log so database related information when you search here you will get all the database related information in the log so if you wanted to read the failed login information so you can also read the failed login information login and it is success or fail you can mention here and if you wanted to read which port number sql server is listening so server is listening you will see 1433 so here you can easiest way you can find sql server is listening on which Port number so these are the parameters so try to make utilize a couple of parameters in your 
lab environment so that you will become somewhat stronger how to read the sql error log how to read the sql error log from the command prompt so one location is directly from here you can read one more location is you can read from error log from the uh, government prompt experience to read error log and one more location is you can go and uh, get the event viewer so everyone knows it is the event viewer is the windows uh, uh, windows level where you can open the event viewer on the event viewer when you expand windows logs you will see the application logs you will see the system logs this is also one of the key factor as a database administrator we need to read the logs when you go to the application logs you will see sources M ms sql server ms sql pod this is the instance name sir uh, where you can find the instance name you can read from here as well so to 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 which will help you a lot to analyze for the further investigation or further uh, troubleshoot so these are the three different ways where you can read the sql error logs so if you wanted to uh, do some changes over the sql error log means how much file size how many uh, uh, error log files i need to create just just connect to the sql server management studio expand the management and right click on sql error log click on configure here you can increase the file capacity up to double line so by default it is a value is six and if you wanted to increase you can increase the value to certain value so i wanted to keep 10 10 sql error logs i wanted to keep 10 sql error logs so once you click on ok once you restart the sql server next time whenever sql is booting it will automatically create the 10 error logs so you can keep more logs uh, means more days logs where, where where if if application team is coming to and asking that hey last month on so and so date i am having issue can you please help me so in that scenario sql error log is the best place where you can go and see what happened on that specific time and specific day uh, so that it will help us a lot to provide the rca root cause analysis sql error log is also one of the parameter and if you wanted to set the limit of your sql error log you can go and set the limit of your sql error log so this is how we can configure the sql error log sql error log and if you want to do, see the reports you can customize the reports so uh, so you can custom so currently nothing so if you wanted to go for view and you wanted to read the uh, sql server logs or you wanted to read the sql server and windows logs you can get the both from the sql server management studio itself so you are getting both the windows level logs along with the sql server logs okay so from here itself no need to open again sql uh, event viewer windows event viewer and if you want to do recycle the error log so sp recycle error log so before you recycle you just need to take the approval from uh, your your team members okay please make sure that don't recycle the error log because so error log will contains the lots of information so before you want to do troubleshoot you need to collect the logs and then if you want you can recycle the error logs and if you want to do recycle agent logs you can use sp recycle agent error logs so this is the two uh, internal commands where we are using to recycle the error logs hope uh, this video helped a lot about the sql error log okay uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further notification so thank you